Hey guys, Joe Image here. Just wanted to drop a quick video just to answer people's questions about what's going on with my injuries. A lot of people would ask about my neck and my back and now my hip. So I figured rather than answer the same questions over and over and over, I'm just going to explain it all right here. Um, it's a lot easier than typing the same shit. Um, anyway, everyone knows about my neck already. I've talked about it at, at length a million times. Uh, I fucked up my uh, C4, 5, and 6 in my neck. Uh, I don't know when that surgery is. It's somewhere down the line. I don't even have a date set for it yet. Uh, my back, what happened was uh, I, I've had pain in my back for probably five or six years now at this point. Um, what happens is like every year, usually sometime in the winter, it'll, it'll my back will fucking hurt like crazy for like two or three weeks at a time. And I'll walk like hunched over like an old man for the whole time, and then it'll go away, and it'll be fine, and I won't think about it, because once, you know, once it's, out, once it's gone, out of sight, out of mind, I don't pay attention to it anymore, and I still wrestle on it, so it, hadn't, it hasn't been a problem for a long time, it's just been doing that every year or so, so uh, I told my doctor this, and uh, basically what happened was this time when, when it hurt, it didn't stop, so, and it was really bad, I was walking on a cane for about nine weeks, and... Um, I got the MRIs done, actually I got MRIs done twice, and what happened was my L4 and 5 discs were bad, and my, I guess the L6, whatever's underneath the 5, uh, is cracked, but that disc is cracked, it's cracked, but it's in there so tight, it's in like the socket or the joint so tight that it's not moving anywhere, so it's not, it doesn't really need anything right now, I mean it's cracked, it obviously needs something, but, you know, right now it's okay to leave it alone and not screw with it. Uh, the four and the five, basically what happens, uh, according to my doctor, and, uh, I, I googled the surgery I had, they pull the discs out, they clean them up, they drain some fluid out of them to make them smaller, and there's, and they also take out a chunk of bone to give the disc more room to move around so it's not so tight and compressed, uh, essentially that's what happened, the problem was my L4 was so bad that he couldn't do that. Um, the doctor had to take it out altogether. So now my L4 disc is gone. Um, I don't know what they're, I, I don't know if they replace it with a piece of bone. I think it's bone they replace it with. Um, and the five he was able to clean up and salvage and, you know, like I said, drain fluid out of it, put it back in, and that's good. Uh, the one underneath it that's cracked, he didn't do anything with, he left it alone. But I had the most severely excruciating pain ever going from my lower back when the injury was down my left leg to my foot. My foot was numb a lot of the time. My left leg just hurt. I mean, a lot of you guys saw me uh, at shows at Grand Slam wrestling just doing commentary uh, with my cane my cane sitting next to me because I couldn't I couldn't walk without it. I couldn't function without it. I couldn't get up and down stairs without it. Uh, it was really difficult. So thankfully, I had the surgery last Friday. Uh, as soon as I woke up to recovery, no pain in my leg. The cane is gone. The pain is gone. Um, I still have... I, I put that picture on my Facebook a couple days ago of... Um, there was nine staples on my back. Uh, those were removed yesterday. And my, my doctor removed the staples, but he rebandaged the wound. So I still have to wait another few weeks for it to heal. But otherwise, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm okay. I mean, I still can't drive for another couple days. Today's the first day I was able to shower. So I, I already showered twice today. And uh, it's 5.30 p.m. right now. I plan on showering again later on tonight. Because uh, I, I, I didn't shower for 11 days. It was, I mean, I, it's fucking disgusting. Like, I wash my hair in my sink, and I use, like, baby wipes and, like, a washcloth with soap and shit like that. But it's not the same. Um, so basically, that's it. I mean, I, I still have another couple of weeks left to heal, for my back to heal. Uh, my lower back is about a... a I don't know, five or six inch gash in my back. I mean, you guys saw the picture of the staples. Um, and then after this is done, I've got hip surgery. I don't know when that is. I've got neck surgery, too. I don't know when that is either. But um, I've got a torn uh, labrum in my left hip, which is uh, the labrum is the tissue that goes right above your ball joint. So like your ball joint's here that holds your hip together that makes it able to move around. The labrum is right above that. It's like a, uh, it's almost like a gasket. It keeps it in place, uh, holds it in there nice and tight, and it's, it makes it able to move around. Uh, mine's torn, so my hip is 
not really good. I mean, I don't feel any pain because I had a cortisone injection in there. Uh, I think it's cortisone. Um, so that, you know, that, that dulls the nerve and gets rid of the pain, which is the same thing happened on my neck last year. March, April, and May of 2013, I had three epidural blocks or cortisone shots in there uh, in my neck, so I don't feel that pain anymore either, um, which is why I'm not in a giant hurry for the surgery to come around because it's not a big deal. So that's uh, essentially that's it. I mean, there are, uh, like I said, there's a lot of people asking me what's going on. Uh, that's really it. I mean, um, anybody has any other questions, you can email me, uh, joeyimage at gmail.com. You can hit me up on Twitter, at joeyimage, or just my Facebook is joeyimage. I mean, a lot of people are on there anyway. Just, uh, you know, send me a friend request, I'll add everybody. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know. I guess that's about it. Uh, thanks, everyone, for your concern. It's totally cool that people give a shit about what I'm doing. Um, and I guess just some upcoming stuff I'll, I'll be at May 17th, Grand Slam Wrestling Music Youth Center in Music, Pennsylvania. Uh, main event, Andy Hedder, the champion, against Bo Nakota, the challenger. Um, I don't remember the date of the show after that. June 12th, I believe, maybe. Uh, also at the Music Youth Center. You can just go to my Facebook for all the dates for Grand Slam Wrestling. Um, August 8th and 9th and 10th, I'll be in Houston, Texas for the second annual Boston 4 Autism event. Um, that's going to be a really awesome deal. Me and, uh, little old me and a bunch of important guys. I mean, last year we had Rikishi, we had Gene Snitsky, we had, uh, Slaughter. Hacksaw was there. Uh, Shelton Benjamin came by for a little while. Um, like I said, Rikishi, I think I mentioned already. Uh, anyway, so that's what's, that's what's coming up. Uh, hit my Facebook, hit my Twitter for any of that shit. Uh, tweet me, follow me, uh, add me on Facebook, all the, uh, schedule and everything is on there. I don't know when I'll be back to actual wrestling. Right now I'm just doing commentary for Grand Slam Wrestling, and that's it, as well as the, uh, the appearance in Texas. Um, but otherwise, that's it, man. Thanks a lot.